practice speaking English in our community of practice. Hello and welcome. I am Teacher Sky. Hi. I know that we're probably here on Facebook. Let's check. Are we live on YouTube and Twitch? Hello. Welcome. Good to see you. I am Teacher Sky. Welcome to class. Yes, I teach English as a second language, and today we'll be having intermediate English. Okay, I can't wait to see you. This is going to be so fun. Okay, we are up on Facebook. Hello, my Facebook friends and family. Teacher Sky. Yes, today it's intermediate, and we're going to be discovering. I'm not sure what. You all are going to have a chance to help us decide what are we discovering today. Welcome, Mohammed. I'm so glad to see you. First one in class today. High five. Hi, son. I'm just watching. Okay, good. You can learn a lot, but what I do require is that you speak at home or wherever you are. Be in a place where you can speak and practice, okay? Because this is speaking English practice, right? We all want to have a chance to speak. Hi, Rose. Oh, Raj. Hi. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Good to see you all here. And I'm also monitoring. We are on Facebook. Teacher Sky's Facebook. We're also on my YouTube, which is Teacher Sky ESL. Oh, <laughs> I typed it in and then I zapped it. Here we go. Teacher Sky ESL. And that's on YouTube. If anyone would like to go over there and help me, I would really appreciate it. I just want to make sure if there are any comments that I am alerted to them so that I can make sure everyone feels welcome. And those of you like Nida, whoever is my friend on Facebook, could you do the same? And let me know if there are comments coming in. Okay. And hello, I'm doing pretty good on my own, but I should have some subscribers here to help me. I can't do this alone. There's a lot going on with the technology, and I thank you all for being here today. Mayada, hello. <laughs> uh, Raj, would you like to provide your YouTube channel link? Hmm. Let's see if I can find that real quick. Let's see. YouTube and Teacher Sky ESL. You know there's another Teacher Sky, it's a guy. But I've been doing a lot of live streams, so mine's coming up pretty good. And I have a Google site, so they love me. You know, Google owns YouTube, right? Teacher Sky oh, ESL. Is. Okay, so I've got it. And it did it feedback? Did you guys hear that? <laughs> Okay, here's the link for you, Raj. You are so high tech. And you know, that's my team. We're called Team Ed Tech Heads. <laughs> yeah, that is um, Ed Tech stands for Education Technology. And Heads is the part where we're a club. We kind of get together, but we're into technology because it helps us to learn, right? And nowadays, everyone has to be into technology because there's so much technology around us. We are immersed in technology. So it's good to understand it, to be able, you know, to use technology and um, still be able to communicate well. We always want to be understood, and that's the whole point of communication and our language, so that we're you're understanding me and I'm understanding you. Uh, so I'd like to put that information in the comments as well. Let me see if I can help everyone out. I kind of need some assistance. Yeah, I could use one assistant over on Facebook, one assistant on YouTube, and one assistant here on Hallow. I need three assistants. Oh my goodness, this project's getting huge. We love it, but I do believe we are live. It looks like we are, and we want to welcome everyone here. Yeah, today we're doing intermediate, and um, right at the beginning, I would like to play a special promo. You know, on Fridays, Teacher Sky's team does the um, Hallowed TV show. It's called Everything in English almost okay and all of our students have segments they come on and we interview you some people take us on tours of their country we've had a number of people submit videos to air on our show and this one is one of our students and she did a wonderful promo let me see where is that right here okay so here it is this is Aya and I want her to be able to see her promo uh thank you so much hello Hi, my name is Aya, 
and I'm 17 years old. I'm a student at the Country 3 Literature Section, and I'm from Libya, it's North Africa. Actually, I have a lot of things to do. I want to be an English teacher, an English doctor in the university to explain everything in, our, in English instead of Arabic because my native language is Arabic. So in the private school, in the private school, you should explain everything in English, but in public school, you should explain everything in Arabic, and I don't like that. And I want to be a news reporter in the BBC channel in the UK because all the people say that I have that voice, you know, to say like, good morning, um, like say good morning, today I'm going to talk about the weather or the actress of Hollywood. So this is my dream, and I want to achieve it, and someday, maybe I will get a scholarship to United Kingdom or to United States. So, yeah, this is my dream, and, yeah, as I said, you are watching everything in English, almost. <laughs> Thank you, Maya. That is so awesome. So she asked me about that promo yesterday, and she's already recorded another for us. So we'll have that on the show this Friday. Um, I'll be able to do the production by then. Uh, so if you'd like to do a short promo, you can, or a video. Maybe you'd like to demonstrate something. Are you a good cook? Yeah, we need a cooking segment. Oh, hey, practice is here. I saw your live stream. It looked really good, practice. Come on up. And he's actually True Blue, and we'd like for you to meet our subscriber, True Blue. Come on up. Hi, Sarah. It's good to see you. I'm doing well. Nita is here. Oh, uh, hi, you, True Blue. I'm good. How are you doing? No, not bad. Thank you, teacher. Not bad. Good. That was a good lesson. What were some of the words that you covered today? Oh, Angel. Uh, hello. Just five, just five words, like adapt. Yeah. And then, and then and, yeah, all of you antiquated, antiquated, and um, yeah, four or five words in one hour. That's it. Uh, that's I, great. I go down, you know, yeah, I deep down, I give so many examples, try to make some stories so that easy to remember. Good, give some examples and some sentences to use the words in, and also connect with, yeah. I try to cover as much as I can mm -hmm. for every single word, say for collocation. The world of a teacher. You're yeah. a good teacher. That's great. <laughs> Thank uh, you. So I'm just doing for my own here. <laughs> Uh, well, hi, Ice Queen, Sty One, Holmesy is back today, and Angel, so sweet. Now, Angel would like to know what's our topic, and I do have um, the English Language Library queued up. Do you guys know that one? It's called ESL Library, and we're using this here on Hallow. They've got some amazing courses for us in English language. So this one is Discovery. Let me make sure that I have my screen shared on all of our pages. Pages. There it is. Okay, good. Can you all see this okay? Discovery. Now, we're going to be able to choose. And um, is there anyone else here anymore? Um, True Blue, maybe you could watch for me in the comments, see if any more of our subscribers come today. Uh, hi, Zane. Welcome. So, uh, we're going to have to choose our subject, okay? And I'm just going to scroll through these and let you guys help us decide what it is we're going to be doing today. So um, there's baseball language, the five senses like touch, see, smell, hear. Um, there's animals, and there are all kinds of animals we can discover here. Dolphins, fishing, elephants, frogs, honeybees, hippos, penguins, kangaroos, sharks, spiders, working dogs. And then there's food. Cheese, chocolate, food allergies, ice cream, pizza, popcorn, sports, baseball, dragon boating, fishing, Olympia. That would be the Olympic sports, skateboarding, and stadiums. Transportation, bicycles, hot air balloons, smart cars, submarines, super jumbo jets, subways, jobs, acrobatics, astronauts, firefighters, paparazzi, pirates, <laughs> race car drivers, veterinarians, I don't know, robots, working dogs, again, that's a job. Oh, how fun. Now, then there's places. Alcatraz Island, 
Inuit, the Bermuda Triangle, the Everglades, the Great Pyramid, the Great Wall of China, time zones, Transylvania, okay, and science, fall foliage, frogs, robots, the five senses, Bermuda Triangle, Everglades, the moon, the solar system, the sun, and tree rings. So we're going to let you all decide what subject do we want. <laughs> that was... Did anyone put it in the comments what they like? Oh, good, Nida. Yes, I teach the Hallow courses on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And I do have an announcement for my subscribers. I will be having to do my classes on Wednesday and Thursday while our live, live stream is happening. So those are going to be the paid classes. So, so far, our practice, our True Blue here says solar is something he would like to discover. Did you all see all of the suggestions for what we want to discover? Can you all help us choose? Let's see, what was the one solar, True Blue? Uh, you see what the, all the choices are, everyone. Look and see if there's anything else that interests anyone here. There are animals, food, like food allergies, different kinds of food, popcorn, sports. That's, and there's some interesting sports in here. Transportation. Um, where was solar? Jobs, aerobatics, astronauts, race car, robots, places and culture. Hmm. So True Blue, you said solar. Does that come under science? Everglades, the moon. solar system, do you mean? This one? Uh oh, I lost you. It got awfully quiet. Practice. <laughs> Get back up here. <laughs> so, what do you guys want to learn? You asked me what the subject is. You tell me. Stywan says food. I thought it'd be launched two weeks later. Yeah, Nida, it will be in two weeks, and my classes will be on Wednesday and Thursday. I'm hoping. We're going to be putting our schedules in today, but I think it may have to take over my classes here. Oh, I just saw somebody go by. What was that? Oh, man, you rock. High five, man, for subscribing. Let's bring you up. Hi, True Blue, you're back. <laughs> so you were saying solar system. Is that what you wanted, practice? Yeah, that's solar I system? Doing. Okay. Hello. Hello, teacher. Ah, oh, hello, hello, man. Nice to meet you. Did, am I saying your name right? Is it Man or Mon? Yes. Man? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, this is my Chinese name. You, uh, you can call me Man. Yeah. Ma'am. Okay. Uh, I will. Yes. Good to meet you. And thank you for joining our team. Uh, thank you. Thank you, teacher. So <laughs> what do you think about the solar system? True Blue, you want the solar system? Uh, yeah, I would like to, but... Um, yeah. Sahin like, says like, solar like, system would be good. I think it would be a good one. Let's let's look at that. Okay. Here it is right here. It's intermediate. So it's in the ballpark. That means we can watch it because it is in our our class today is intermediate English. So we want to try to stay in that category when we're here in the English language library. Okay, so um how about some reading? This is kind of fun. Um Mon, would you like to have a chance to read? Uh, sure, thank you. Uh, how many planets are in our solar system? Is is it Pluto? Pluto, Pluto yeah. Pluto. Is Pluto a planet? Young learners will love learning interesting facts about our universe universe so do you all feel young now young learners i love that so this is intermediate so really uh, you know i think there are probably adults will get a lot out of this one um, but some of you may already have had solar system in school and things like that so first we have a warm-up exercise let's talk about the solar system okay Huh. You guys are intermediate, so you should know this. Um, True Blue or Practice, could you help us with this first question? What do you think the answer okay. to that is? What is the solar system? 
Do you know? Yeah. Solar system. A solar system is a electronics methods through where the sunlight converted into electrical energy. So when you say sunlight, light means photonic. You know, when you look at in terms of the science, then it is photons. Photons. So yeah, photons so that converted into electricity. This is the basic concept. I see. How it happened? How it happened? sunlight falling onto the material that material is called a solar film and in that materials uh, there are uh, photons so photon is bombarding uh -huh. and then because just think this way so if someone is pushing you then you will move a little bit further and then opposite to your movement there will be current ah. this is what happening so the light is falling onto the material they are pushing the electron and opposite direction of electron movement we have a current electricity and that we use it in our home for lighting wow. the house, the computer, everything interesting so you've been studying the solar system you know a lot and shubham says uh, he has a profound <laughs> knowledge about it and clapping hands okay we've invited bayram to come up hi bayram welcome Hi, teacher Sika. Hi, guys. Excellent. How are you doing? We are good today. We're doing intermediate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, and we chose a subject. It's the solar system. Did you hear True Blue telling us about the solar system? Solar system? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what that is? Have you had science class before? Oh, Simba Sarah says our Earth is one of those planets in the solar system. Very good. That's good. So, um, so True Blue, you're talking about the solar energy and how everything revolves around the sun, right? Oh, hi, Crazy. Yeah. Welcome. Mm -hmm. So that was very interesting and in how you applied it to us and how it affects us. Very good. You know, these days, uh, there are some cars, there are some companies, they develop the car, mm -hmm. and the out, out, out of the body, they have complete solar panel. Excellent. So, car can run based on solar energy, instant solar right. energy, and that's very successful. Mm -hmm. It could be very successful where there are too much solar light. Say for some part in South Africa, Middle East, you know, where sun radiation is too high. Hmm. So they can make use of it to cut down the pollution or cut down the fuel consumption. Yeah, that's wow. very interesting research going on. That is. And many people are already answering our question number two. Bayram, do you mind reading number two? Can you see that okay? Yeah, I see. What's the solar system? It is a huge system yeah <laughs> yeah now we kind of tried to answer that one and i know that our class will give us more information but can you read number two let me see if i can bring it up here because uh, how many pla planets are there in our solar system ah uh, so, so some people have already said do you know bayram how many uh, uh, i don't remember <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Somebody said it earlier, and I think I agree with Simba Sarah. She says a solar system, and our solar system consists of nine planets revolving around the sun. You guys agree with Simba Sarah? Nine? Yeah, I agree. Yes. I, I don't, yes, I do not. Do oh, not Simba Sarah know knows so much. I'm going to pin this I other agree. comment. Yeah, true blue. Is it, Mercury, is it Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Astronom, then Uranus, Neptune, and then I forget other two. Uh, so did you just name them? You know, true blue, you understand a lot and you can speak very well, but you're not as clear. So sometimes I don't understand when you say it. Did you just name the different planets? Yeah, that's I right. I say Mercury. Mercury? The nine. Venus. Venus. Earth. What is it? Earth. Us. Earth. Earth. 
Mars. Mars. Jupiter. Jupiter. Uh, yeah, then Saturn. Saturn. Uranus. Uranus. Then Neptune. Neptune. Yeah. And then the ninth was Pluto, but Simba Sarah has something here. Mon, would you mind reading the pinned comment? Can you see okay. that? Uh, I, I, I saw, yeah. Uh, Pluto is not more consider, considered as a part of our solar system anymore because it's got out of the range of the solar system. Oh, that was excellent reading. And Simba, Sarah, really good sentences, very complete sentences. And, you know, I didn't know that. I've never heard that Pluto got outside of range. That is so interesting. So I'm learning a lot. Are you guys learning? I'm going to bring no, Flourish up. Hi, Flourish. I, Welcome. I, don't know. I know that's so interesting. Uh, so, Hamel is already Hi, telling guys. us the name of our galaxy. Hello, Hi, Flourish. Man. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Hi, Baran. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello. Hello. So good to see you. So, Sita has given us the names of all of the planets. And that last one, Pluto, is P L U T O, the one in question. We don't think the ninth one is a part of our solar system anymore. So, we'll find out if this class agrees with you. Um, excellent. So, Hamil has already answered. And, Flores, you are new to us. I don't know if you can read this third question. Can you read the third question for us, Flores? What is the name of our galaxy? Okay. Do you guys know? Does anybody know the name of our I have no idea about this. Yeah. You don't know, Mon? Flourish, do you no. know? Milky Way. Milky Way. Look, Hamel has put it in the comments. Excellent. You guys really know about this stuff. Wow. Sahin is also there. Okay. So, Simba Sarah really knows. Are you an astronomer? Simba Sarah, she knows a lot about the planets. And let's see, whose turn is it to read? Um, True Blue, I believe it's your turn, right? Could That's you? Fine. Simba's statement? Yeah. We are living in the Milky Way galaxy, though there are thousands of galaxies out of there. And a galaxy consists of millions of million of stars, planet, and Floating box. Wow. Yeah. So it's pronounced galaxy. Can you galaxy. say that? Galaxy. 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 Good. Galaxy. Now, Flourish and Bayroom and Man, could you also say that with us? Galaxy. 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 Good. Good. Galaxy. That's a hard word. I want to make sure everyone got it. Oh, and thank you, Simba Sarah, for that information. You really know this stuff. Yeah. True Blue? Sam Samsung Galaxy. 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 So here's another question. And you guys can write it in the comments. Um, and let's let each one of you who are up here answer it, okay? Let's start with uh, Bayram. Bayram? Yeah, yeah it's would you like to travel in space? Yeah, I am interested, but yeah, I am not rich now. <laughs> no? Maybe not. I'm not rich. Um, you know, this uh, space traveling is uh, so expensive. Now. Yeah. So Simba Sarah says she would as long as it comes with safety. And I like that comment. I, I agree. That's a good one. Uh, what about you, um, man? Would you like to travel in space? Sure, I'm interested to. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm interested traveling uh, in space. Uh, yeah, because uh, uh, we uh, uh, there are no one uh, uh, do uh, traveling in space. It's so interesting. You guys are really yeah. brave. We have a very brave team here. What about you, Flourish? Would you want to travel in space? Uh, I wish to travel in space, but I'm afraid of heights. <gasps> that would oh. be scary. 
<laughs> so have you, have you ever flown in an airplane? Not yet, teacher. That would be crazy, wouldn't it? So I think it's a lot different than an airplane, but if you've flown an airplane, it's pretty scary, isn't it? Especially the first time. Oh, thank you, Simba, Sarah. You're so sweet. Nico, good, you're here. Nico, can you come up too? Do you have a subscription? I'm not having my balloons Nico today, here. so I can't tell. Yes, Nico has a balloon. Sure. Does he? Interesting. So the web app is not showing the balloons. And I'll see if I can bring you up. So True Blue, did you answer? Would you like to travel in space, True Blue? Of, of course, I'd like to have of course the real time experience because uh, it really motivate me and gravitate me yes why especially i'll be very particular about neptune you know which hmm. is also called as a mm -hmm. blue planet yeah and you also know my name also is true blue yeah I, have, I was somehow motivated you know it's simply connecting the anecdotes at the moment mm -hmm. so, the another another reason is you know this blue planet you know you cannot see with a microscope uh, or sorry telescope at the moment mm -hmm. so yeah it will be very wonderful yeah we're just looking at it from a distance yeah. very interesting have you ever looked through a telescope true blue me yeah yeah, many, many times. Have you? Oh, it's very interesting, isn't it? Oh, thank you, Flores, for answering Nico's uh, question there. Yeah, we're talking about the solar system. And those are some Nico, good Nico. ice warmer, or what do they call it? Icebreakers? Um, yeah. Nico, when I was studying, when uh -huh. I was studying at university, yeah, I, I modified the telescope. You modified the telescope? Oh. Yes. How did you do that? You know, I'll get a micro array lens inside mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I magnify, you know, the tele telescope right. magnification. Okay. I increase with a combination of coaxial combination of lens with the telescope. So wow. you can see much clearer. Ah, so adding another lens, that makes sense. It would make it even more strong and magnified. Hi, Othman. Good to see you here. So we're going to uh, preview some vocabulary, okay? And so we need to match each word with the correct definition. Here are our words. Distance, orbit, gas, astronomer, debris, and classify. That debris, you don't say the S. It's a French word, debris. And that debris. things gliding, floating in space, debris. So here we go. Here's the first one, number one. And I believe, Flourish, is it your turn to read? To go in a circle around something else. Hmm. Is it the orbit? Orbit. I think you're right. Okay, we'll put that in here into number one, orbit. Uh, okay, man, would you read number two, please? Sure. Loose broken materials often made of rock. Hmm. Oh. Broken pieces of rock in outer space. What would that be? Mm. Distance, gas, astronomer, debris, or classify. Debris? I think debris. 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 Let's all say that. Debris. Debris. Uh, and you don't uh, you don't say uh, the uh, s everyone let's uh, type uh, it just in the correction. comments I yeah just one correction Duh. why should we only the rock rock pieces it could be wood as well right the wood pieces we also call it debris ah good point debris you see how it's debris. pronounced it's kind of like duh debris. maybe debris. i should say it. that looks like do Debris. Debris. Okay. Debris. 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 Okay. That was a hard one. I knew that would be hard, and that's why I said it at the beginning. So this is what we have left. Distance, gas, astronomer, and classify. Bayram, would you like the next one? Yeah, sure. How far two objects or places are from each other? 
Mm. How far? How far? Distance. Distance. Yeah, I think you're right. Distance. How far something is from something else is the distance. Good. Like I try to look up how far it is to drive somewhere and I can go to Google and say, I need driving distance and it'll tell me how many miles to the next city. Okay, True Blue, your turn. What is a person who has studied? Who has studied a star and planets? So, yeah. That's what you are, right? Astronomer? Right. Astronomer. You've studied astronomy, haven't you? Excellent. Um, I didn't okay. study, but uh, I learned it from physics. Yeah, you know a lot about it. Now, Nico, I really wanted to try to get you up. We have one more for you that I'd like for you to read. I don't see you anymore. Nico, here you are. See if I can get you up. I understand I could get five to six people. And right now we only have four. So, Nico, I'm trying to bring you up too. Ah, but until Nico can get here, um, back to you, Flourish. Could you read this one? To put something into category or group. Hmm. Do you guys remember the words? Classify. Classify, right. To classify something. You put it in order of a category or a group. We have um, in our newspapers, we have what's called the classifieds and you go in and you can find if you want to buy a car or there's another classification of jobs or you can find furniture or, you know, garage sales. They are in the classifieds. It's ads, usually advertising. You can get little ads in the classified section. Thank you, Flourish. So, um, Mon, would you do the next one for us? Oh, okay. An air-like substance that moves around. Around. Yes. <laughs> it's the only one that's left. So it's a yes. gaseous substance. And you'll see this word gaseous around too. I'll put this in the comments. Gaseous. E-O-U-S. So it's this vapor or fumes, petrol glass. Wasi says, welcome. Gas, Simba, Sarah agrees. Okay, good. The level is very high. Nico, what are you talking about? The level is, you're talking about classifications, Nico? Teacher, what's the difference between air boom and gas? Between what? Speak up a little bit. Airborne and gas. Airborne and gas. Airborne is describing something. It's air and born is to be born like a child. A baby is born. Airborne, you just fly, right? It's it's an adjective. It's describing. He went airborne. Um, and the other one is gas. Gas is a noun. Gas is a vapor. Uh, it can also be a liquid gas, right? Gas can be either one. So it's a noun. It's a thing. And airborne is adjective to go airborne. Teacher, teacher I am running out of the gas. after. <laughs> You're running out of gas. It's late for you, isn't it? I understand. No, teacher, just, just, that's fine. So we are going to do the next section, and that's no problem. Now, Nico made it. Hi, Nico. Welcome. Hi. Welcome, everyone. So do we have, Hello. yeah, we have all of you up. Mon, are you still here? Yes. yes okay. Yes. Huh. One, two, three. Five. <gasps> Yay, we got five. five. High five. Hello, support. You did it. And I guess this is a good time to tell you. I have to break the news. <laughs> you guys, you know, yesterday my dilemma, 
about I'm going to be a hallow course teacher. I've been hired. I signed the contract today. Okay. So uh, <laughs> I decided yesterday because they said, choose your times you want your classes. And I was like, oh, I need to have it right when class is. But, you know, I might do it a little after class. I didn't know if it would be too late for other people around the world. And I guess it is. The class times that they gave us are 6 to 9 a.m. And guess what? We are on at 8.30. So I'm going to start slow. I will not cancel all of my classes yet. I'm going to request classes today, and this isn't in stone yet, you know, and that means it's not confirmed. We haven't written it in stone so that it's there forever. So today we're having, no, not today, Wednesday, we're having our training. I have to miss class, class on Wednesday. That means you guys get to take a walk. That's what they call it in college here. If your teacher says, we're not having class today, you get to walk is what they say. So on Wednesday this week, you get to walk, okay? And then mm, Wednesday and Thursday might be my paid courses, guys. So I'll still do the live streams, and I still have Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday, which are the best days, right? On Wednesday, we do Ed Tech Heads, and on Thursday, we do Advanced English. So, you know, we kind of do advanced every day. I think a lot of you are advanced speakers and we do a lot. So just so you know, running out of gas and the schedules and things like that, that's what's coming up for Teacher Sky. I wanted you to know that. Yesterday, I was so prepared to just do classes at 10 o'clock, but they're not offered at 10 o'clock. I'm sorry. Uh, so I will have these classes um, may change a bit. But, you know, I'm also thinking, um, you know, if my Hallow courses do pay, which yesterday, I, you guys were amazing to me yesterday and outstanding. This goes to all of you all. I got so many donations and new subscribers. I want to thank you. And that's why I take this seriously. I know um, Flourish, you donated. Um, and I believe... Um, Nico Shams and Zila re oh, well Shams and Zila and Kat and Thomas resubscribe, but Nico is a new subscriber, and you all that really helped me out a lot. Your little tips help. Um, I'm having to do the Hello Course Teacher thing just to make a very good uh, income, so that I can just I want to be a Hello Teacher when I grow up, guys. Um, so thank you for helping me. Okay, so that's my announcement. We're going to learn some interesting facts about the solar system. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. okay. Um, you know, I think it would be nice if we all got to read. And Nico, you're new with us. How are you doing? Are you good? Would you? Are you interested in practicing some reading with us today? Nico, uh-oh, is the signal not good? When you come back, you let us know. We want to hear you speak. Are you? Oh, yeah. oh there you time. are. Okay, good. Hi. Hi. Welcome to class. So, you know, we're giving everyone a chance to read. Would you like to have the opportunity? Uh, uh, yes. Okay, so we have this one right here, and I'll try to keep it moving up so you can read the whole thing. Do you know that there are her planet eight it's eight eight, eight planets eight planet in all solar system solar system right planet in all solar system orbit around the sun sun same same sun sun Okay. Uh, besides, 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 beside, beside planet, right. all solar, oh. plan, solar system, right? All has moons, has asteroids, asteroids, asteroids. right? Good, comet, comet. and space. Debris. Debris. Remember, debris. Uh, we just had that in our vocabulary. Can anyone tell Nico what debris is? Debris. Debris. 
Debris. debris. You don't say the S. You say debris. Debris. And it's big chunks of rock and different things that are just kind of floating in space. Debris. Um, you know, we have debris when maybe there's a little dirt on something. It's debris. Just little things that are, you know, broken off. Little chunks. Debris. Okay. Did that help you? Debris. Uh, debris. Debris. Okay. <laughs> Space debris. Okay. So let's let someone else read. Um, Flourish, would you like to have a chance here on number two? Sure, teacher. Uh, each of the eight planets is a different distance from the sun. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. Then come Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Oh, okay. So there's all the planets, guys. Excellent reading. Thank you, Flourish. So number three... I guess, man, would you like to try number three? And be sure everyone uh, mute when you're not speaking okay. so that we can hear everybody else, okay? All right. Okay. This is a hard one, man. I will help you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Even farther away than Neptune is another planet called Pluto. In 2008, uh, to astron astronomers astronomers Good. decide Pluto was too small to be a regular planet. Instead, they classified it as a dwarf. Dwarf. Just, yep, just like it looks dwarf. like. Dwarf. Dwarf planet. Dwarf Planet. Oh my goodness. What is a dwarf? Do you guys know dwarf? I may have to look that one up. Yeah. Do you know I, dwarf? I can explain to John. Okay. Yeah, I can. Go ahead. So dwarf planet means a planet that is genetically modified to become a smaller and still it can give the fruits. This ah. is the meaning. Okay. So good. Therefore, therefore a mango dwarf means that can be cultivated in a small pot and still you can have mango. Excellent. So the main advantage of dwarf is uh, you can you know plant a bigger plant even in your backyard, even in your small small places. Wow, it's small, right? Now I would also like to look at the um, definitions here just to make sure because there are a couple of other uses of the word dwarf, and one is um, what you just talked about. I'm gonna, I'm going to do that one first. Astronomy. Uh, True Blue, can you read this definition? A star of relatively small size and low luminosity, including the majority of main sequence stars. Ah. So, uh, and you can also use the word to dwarf something as a verb. It's uh, caused to seem small or insignificant in comparison. So uh, this gives you a, a good sentence. The buildings around the dwarf and dwarf All Saint Church, the buildings surround and dwarf, they make it seem small. Dwarf yeah, is this small. Is a, so this is, this is what I was saying. So yeah. dwarf is genetically modified to make the big tree into a smaller one. Still we can have fruits. This is the meaning. Good point. So, Probably if you go for um, go to any nursery or any plant shop mm -hmm. and if you ask them you need dwarf lemon, mm -hmm. that means the lemon tree size will be like half meter, not more than that, but still you can have lots of lemon. Ah, this good. Oh, that's excellent. Now, there is another definition for dwarf that we should probably talk about a little bit because you might get confused. Have you seen Lord of the Rings? <laughs> there are dwarves in that one. Um, True Blue, do you mind reading this uh, first definition as well? Uh, in uh, folklore or fantasy literature, a member of a mythical race or sort stocky women like creatures who are generally skilled in mining and metal working okay so they are 
you know, kind of folklore. We don't know if they're real. Okay, it's in literature, and you will hear there these small, short people, and they're called dwarves. Okay, gnome, goblin, all of those. So just so you know. Okay, all right. So let's get back to our lesson. And thank you all for yeah. reading. Thank you, True Blue. That was awesome. Let's go back to the lesson. And I think, Bayram, are you the next one to read? Oh, uh, sure. Okay. How about number four? Uh, the planets closest to the sun are made of metal and rock. The planets that are hardest gray are made of gas. Like hydrogen, hydrogen and helium, these two groups of planets are divided by an asteroid belt. Excellent. Oh, that is really interesting. So this was a very good lesson. I think, um, wow. You know what? You're not finished. There's another sentence, Bayram. Asteroids. Asteroids. Asteroid. Are space rocks other planets? Yeah, so they are, they look like stars out there, kind of, but they were broken apart. Planets close to the sun. Oh, this is so interesting. Okay, so we're on number five, and who has not got to read? We have five of them. Man, did you get to read one? Uh, I already read one. Who didn't get to read? Um, Bayram, did you get yeah. to read? Yeah, okay. The solar system is uh, four, four and six billion years old. old. Right. For thousands of years. Solar system is four and six billion years old. It was the center of the universe. Now we know that our solar system is just one of many other solar systems in the Milky Way galaxy. And there are other galaxies too. No one knows how the universe really is. Wow. So do you guys want to hear them read it? It only takes a minute. It would be interesting to hear them say words like debris and all that. I'm going to play this and let the software read it to you, okay? Here we go. The solar system. Did you know that there are Whoops. eight planets you know. in our solar system? Planets in our solar system orbit around the same sun. Besides planets, our solar system also has moons, asteroids, comet and space debris. Each of the eight planets is a different distance from the sun. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. Then come Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Even farther away than Neptune is another planet called Pluto. In 2008, astronomers decided Pluto was too small to be a regular planet. Was too small Instead, to be classified it as a dwarf planet. The, the planets planet. closest to the sun are made of metal and rock. The planets the that are farthest away are made of gas, gas like hydrogen and helium. Hydrogen and These two helium. groups of planets are divided by an asteroid belt. Asteroids are space asteroids rocks, are rocks that used to be part of other planets. Of other planets. The solar system is 4.6 billion years old. The solar system is 4 For thousands of years, humans thought Earth years, was the center of the universe. Earth. Now, now we know that our solar system is just one of many other solar systems in the Milky Way galaxy. There are other galaxies too. No one knows how big the universe really is. Wow, that was so good. <laughs> so I thought we were getting feedback the whole time and someone was reading. That was so good. Okay. Thanks, guys. Now, let's see what else we have about the solar system. Now, can you remember things? That's what comprehension means. 
Okay, here we go. We have some questions here. And I'm going to try to make a note and keep up with you guys. I see, Nico, you are first. Could you ask the first question? Sure. Eight, uh, eight planets. How many planets are in the uh, old solar, solar system? system? Solar system. Solar. 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 Solar system. Did solar you say it? System. Solar system. Okay. Solar Practice says nine. I know, Bayram, I heard that too. I think it could be I have I something in it. here that is you know, causing feedback. So you, True Blue says nine. Oh, nine. True Blue, you donated. Oh, Evram, thank you. Oh, you guys are too good to me. Thank you so much. That sure makes it possible. So are we? what are we going to put in the blank, everybody? How many planets? Is it eight nine. or nine? Is it nine still? Eight. I don't nine. know anymore. I'm going to say nine. nine. Okay, we'll find out later if we got it right. Okay, Flourish, would you read this one, please? Oh, it's right behind my. Which planet is closest to the sun? Mm. Mercury. Mercury, you think? Do you all agree with Flourish? Yeah, yeah, is that right? Yes, teacher, that's right. Oh. Interesting. Did that not come up for you, Ela? Let me see if I can give you that link. Here we go. I'll put it in the comments. It was ESL Language Library. Did I get it wrong, guys? Here you go. And this is for this course, okay? So we're going to put Mercury. I think Flourish is probably correct. Okay, so the next one is going to be Bayram. Uh, let's do the next one, Bayram. Here you go. Why did uh, astronomers decide that float wasn't a plan? Pluto. Uh oh. Pluto, Number one's going to be eight. <laughs> I think we got number one wrong. Can we go back? You want to change it, Flourish? You want to change it? If it's Let's, do it. <laughs> Let's change it. Uh, yes. okay. Yeah, I think. I think we, okay. we want to make sure we get it right. <laughs> okay. La, 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 la. Okay. So, Bayram, why did we uh, decide that Pluto was not a planet? Do you guys remember anything about that? Sure. Simba sure. was telling us. Too small, you think? Yes. Too small. Dwarf. 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 Oh, a dwarf. Um, a dwarf planet is what they called it. Okay. Maybe should I say a whole sentence? Um, they call it a dwarf planet. How's that? Okay. All right, Bayram, good job. Let's go. Man, would you read this one, please? Okay. What are the planets that are farthest away from the sun made of? Oh, boy. You guys remember that? They're big, so they're made of something. Metal? Is that what you said? Metal? Neptune, honey. Neptune. Neptune. No, this is what are the big planets made of? Made of. Farthest away from the sun. So Neptune. So what is Neptune made of? Do you know? Is it rock? Um, Do you guys remember? I, think, um, I mean, made up like, you know, I see materials like fluids. Let's cheat and look. This is an open book test. Thank goodness. Yeah, we were right about that. So did it really say eight? It did say eight. Okay. Oh, here you go. Lutes and gas. Oh, here we go. Metal and rock. Metal Farthest. and rock. Oh, look, I was wrong. The one We weren't paying attention, were we? Oh, gas. So yeah, they're gaseous. Gas. Interesting. Okay, so pay attention. We better put the right thing in here. 
what's so they the the now the question again is what are the planets farthest away from the sun made of planets what are there's a lot gas was it gas yeah they were more gas and, and yes. uh, forgot the other word they used and we just looked it up what was it hydrogen and helium <laughs> okay those are gas hydrogen you know helium is like the balloons that you air up and they go up helium yeah gas yeah. okay so that helps they're, they're like, so they're made like of gas all right what did we put they're made of gas all right i think we got that one so that was mon true blue are you still with us do you remember this one sorry practice is practice still here yeah can, can you hear me yeah i can hear you now uh, i mean it consists of uh, clay and you know rocks clay and rocks asteroids are rocks yeah rocks that and word clay. debris mm -hmm. was it debris i kind of remember asteroids oh, space rocks that used to be part of other planets could they be debris if they used to be parts of other planets could they be debris yeah it should be yeah okay because i put that in there you know i don't want it to be wrong so you think rocks and debris yeah and okay. also clay clay why is like clay in the answer? Clay? Yeah. I think we got it. I think we got all of these right. Okay, guys, let's see. You have to submit it to your teacher. So I got it. And I think you did great. <laughs> I hope so. I'm pretty sure we got those right, though. All right. So comprehensive. Oh, a bonus. You get a bonus this time. You know what a bonus is? <laughs> what, what's a bonus? Three. Three. Additional. Additional. I like those words. Good. Simba Sarah says no, no to clay. Oh, you guys are too smart. Okay. What you know the bonus of me? Okay, somebody else is asking to hop on. Ah, Ditya. Let's see if how many we can bring up. Aditya, I will try to bring you up. If not, we may have to retire. Who is the first one to come up practice? Can, yeah. can we jump you off and let Aditya come up? Aditya? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if she can come up. Aditya, we're going to try to hop you on. I know. This is, this is so fun. Did it work, Aditya? She says, Mastani, thank you. Is Mastani here? Aditya is Mastani? Uh, Aditya is a boy. Are you Mastani, Aditya? If you are, then you should have a balloon. Okay. We're going to do the bonus if we could get Mastani up here. Mastani changed his name again. <laughs> is that your sister doing that, Mastani? <laughs> she changed your name again. Okay, so I invited you. Let's look at the bonus while we're waiting for Mastani to come with us. All right, here it is, guys. The bonus question. Mastani, we need you here so you can read our bonus. Did he make it? Nico, it's going to default to you. Nico, could you read the bonus question? Oh, Aditya, right. that is you. Go ahead, Nico. Uh, can you wish which of yes. them is not the name of a uh, dwarf, 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 dwarf planet? Right, dwarf. dwarf. Remember, dwarf is like small. So we want the name of big planets. In the case of this, Eris, Pluto. Or Deborah or Saris. Oh dear. 
Not, not the name of a dwarf planet. Do you guys know the dwarf planets? Did they give us names of dwarf planets? You think it's Pluto? Yeah? Okay. Flora says Pluto. You guys go with Pluto. Okay. Let's see if it's correct. Uh-oh. What happened? Deborah. I don't remember that. Do you guys remember that? I don't remember no, that. No. Deborah. Where was that? Let's go back to comprehension. I want to look at this and see. I think you got it right. Where was our reference? I don't know. Where did you guys remember Deborah? Let's see. There's debris, debris but not debris. Deborah. Deborah's a girl's name. A planets, distance of the sun. Okay, Pluto was too small. They called it a dwarf, and it never mentioned this Deborah. Have you guys heard of Deborah, the planet? Oh, and it's not in our reference, so that was a hard bonus. I don't know about that bonus. I don't agree either, Flourish. <laughs> okay, so let's... I don't know. I don't agree. Did you guys know that one? What about you, Simba, Sarah? You know a lot about outer space. Have you heard of Deborah? Okay, so we're going to listen to a recording, and then we're going to figure out some... Um, missing words okay in the recording so listen carefully the solar system did you know that there are eight planets in our solar system planets in our solar system orbit around the same sun besides planets our solar system also has moons asteroids comets and space debris each of the eight planets is a different distance from the sun Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. Then come Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Even farther away than Neptune is another planet called Pluto. In 2008, astronomers decided Pluto was too small to be a regular planet. Instead, they classified it as a dwarf planet. The planets closest to the sun are made of metal and rock. The planets that are farthest away are made of gas, like hydrogen and helium. These two groups of planets are divided by an asteroid belt. Asteroids are space rocks that used to be part of other planets. The solar system is 4.6 billion years old. Billion. For thousands of years, Humans thought Earth was the center of the universe. Now we know that our solar system is just one of many other solar systems in the Milky Way galaxy. There are other galaxies too. No one knows how big the universe really is. Okay, so I didn't see anything about Deborah, did you guys? <laughs> I'm going to be watching for Deborah every time. Okay, so now we're going to fill in those blanks, okay? And, oh, I guess I have to go back to do that. Keep doing that. Let me try again. So we're going to put the answers in this time. That time we were just listening. Ah, the solar so. system. Here it is. Okay, guys. So we need to figure out what words go in the blanks. We have a lot of noise now. Did... Um, Aditya make it? I'm hearing some new noise. Aditya didn't make it. I'm curious to see if Aditya knows Mastini. Mastani. Okay. So let's go ahead and continue on here. What goes in the blank? Planets. Orbit. 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 Uh, Orbit. You guys were really Orbit. good. Did you write them down as we went? <laughs> that would be smart. Okay, so the next one, um, let's let you all read. Oh, uh, Let's see, who read last? Um, I think it was Nico. Flourish, would you like to read the next sentence here besides our planets? Besides planets, our solar system also has moons, asteroids, comets, and space debris. Debris. 
Debris. Okay, you got that hard word. Bayram, would you read the next one? Distance from the sun. Excellent. So, man, would you like to read the next one? Okay. Then come Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Saturn, Uranus, Uranus, and Neptune. Neptune. Oh, and you didn't get to fill in a blank. Why don't you keep reading, okay? Oh, okay. Even farther away than Neptune is another, another, another planet. Planet? Planet? You guys planet? agree? Okay. I'm looking another in the planet? comments oh, too, Pluto. Simba, Sarah. Yeah, you have to spell it right. Excellent. Called Pluto. Okay. Did Adita ever make it? Adita didn't uh, make it. Well, I don't think that was the problem, but thank you, Flourish. Good job. Thank you, everyone. Ida is here. Okay. Bye-bye. Ida is here. Let's see if it will work for Ida. Ida, can you come up? You can help us read. Oh, and here's Ida asking for a hop on. Okay, Ida, two invites out for you. Okay, let's continue reading. Um, that was man. Um, Nico, would you like to pick it up at in 2008? Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Ida, welcome. I don't know, remember. And, um, Do you know what goes in the blank? Can anybody help Nico with this one? Who decided Pluto was remember, too small? Sorry. Do you know who the scientists are that study astronomy? Astronomy. Astronomers. 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 Astronomer. That's a hard word. I don't blame you, Nico. <laughs> I could hardly get it. Would you go ahead and finish reading the sentence, though, Nico? <laughs> decided. 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 Decided, decided Pluto, 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 Pluto was small, small to be, to be a regular planet. A regular planet. Okay, so we have a lot of different people's mics up. Be sure and close your mic if you're not reading. Nico, would you finish that sentence in or that paragraph, the next sentence instead? Uh, uh, they classified classified as a dwarf planet. Dwarf planet. Okay, so Ida, you're fresh and new. Would you like to read now? The planet yes, okay. Okay, everyone else, be sure and mute. Mute your mic so we can't hear you and we can hear Ida. Ida? Mm -hmm. hey, I'm here. Hello. And uh, yes, uh, planet is close, closest uh, to the sun are made of metal and rock. <coughs> the planet, what? That are that are uh, okay. parts away are made of. Oh you God. guys remember? Can you help Ida? She might have missed it. What goes here? <laughs> Metal and rock. I know, but I don't know what is it in oh my gas. Well, yeah. The farthest yes. away ones were gas, and then the ones that were closer were metal yes. and rock. Yes. Oh, and the way we know is it says what kind of gas. Can you read these types of gas, Ida? It says like yeah. like what? Hydrogen. Hydrogen and helium. Helium, and right. That's helium. gas. Good. Actually, it says, guys, you know, one year ago we were 
we were studying about planets. Yeah. That's why I know it, but I don't know uh, what uh, are these different uh, uh, different uh, words in English. I forgot. Uh, so you you learned this. You learned about the solar system in school. Excellent. Yes, actually, one year ago, all, all of our teachers wow. will uh, teach us about uh, weren't teaching us about uh, different planets, and that's why I know something about this in this thing. But I don't know what are different uh, words in English. I forgot something. Maybe you'll get some of those in this lesson. There are a lot of words in English that you'll recognize when we talk about the planets. Um, so yes. let, let's let someone else have a chance to read. Man, is it your turn? Uh, maybe. I forgot. <laughs> these, these two groups of planets. Okay. Oh, Ida's reading away. Okay. Yes. Let's let man read. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Of planets are uh, divided by an uh, destroyed asteroid, asteroid belt. Asteroid, asteroid belt. Asteroid are space rocks uh, that used to uh, to be part of other planets. Planets. Okay. Okay. So, Mon, you get the one with the blank because you know all the answers. <laughs> Start okay. with this one. Solar system. The solar system is 4.6 billion, billion years old. Thank you. For okay. thousands of years, humans thought Earth was the center of the... of the. What is it, guys? Do you guys know? The center of the Milky... Simba, Milky. I see you're getting it. Did I miss something important? Boo is here. Hydrogen, oh, nitrogen. Universe. Hydrogen, dust particles. Yes, we are reading the comments. Ida, would you help me read the comments? Simba Sarah says, I'm not reading yeah. the comments. So uh, be one, sure and don't uh, let one, us one. miss anything. So did you guys tell yeah, us the answer? You think uh, it's, billion. is it universe, universe or is it galaxy? galaxy. The Earth was center of our universe or galaxy? Um, galaxy. I think you're right, galaxy, because the universe is made up of more. Yes. And we'll find that out here in a moment. Nico, I believe it's your turn. Would you like to pick it up at Now We Know? I read. Now we know that our... No, now we know that... Our solar system is just one. Uh, That's cut off, one isn't it? One of main other solar system in the Milky Way galaxy. It's called Milky Way. Can you say that again? Milky Way. Milky. Milky, Milky Way. Way galaxy. Good. There, there are. I sorry, oh I know other see, it uh, says other one, so, other sorry, galaxies. I know see the first letter. Oops. Does that the help? Para, para, para. Okay, there are other galaxies. You know what? And it still cuts it off over here on this side, doesn't it? No one knows. Uh, no one knows how big the our universe is, uh, really, really is. is. We don't know how big it is, guys. It is really big. <laughs> and we don't even know how big. That yes, is amazing. Oh, seven out of eight. What did we get wrong? Okay. Orbit was correct. Mm -hmm. Debris is correct. Distance, planet, astronomers. Mm -hmm. What did we get wrong? Gas. Billion. The last one is uni uh, universe. Oh, is it universe? universe. Oh, it is universe. Yes. Look at that. Ah, okay. Now we know. <laughs> that was pretty good. All right, guys. Well, I think we're about out of time. These have been so good. I really like this subject, right? The solar system. Have you studied this? I was this? saying it again and again, but I think no one could see his comments oh. on that moment. I see. 
Yeah, I'm sorry. No, we'll see, no, sorry. We got behind, no didn't we? We no, got no. behind in the comments. You guys did great, though. I could see that everybody was responding. Hello, Thank you hey, all hey, for being here. Who is this? My best brother from Pakistan. Oh, Boo. very sweet. Hi, Rosa. Yeah, Glad you're like here. For learning English. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Poor Simba Sarah. She's like, somebody see the comments. <laughs> okay, guys, we got it. <laughs> Ada, you <laughs> saved the day. You came to read our comments for us. Well, we got very involved. This was such a good course about the solar system. Did you learn anything? Did you guys learn anything? Yeah. Did yeah. you learn yeah. about the planets? Slide, yeah. Uh, I learned something like this before. Yeah. My name is one hour ago. In your school? How many of you yes. have learned about the solar system before? Have there been a lot I of you that already knew? So did you learn I it in not. school? Yes, I, I actually these things were new. Of uh, this thing uh, in this course yeah. was really also uh, new for me. Thanks for saying something like this. Yeah, I love you, teacher. You give us knowledge Thanks. about everything. Oh, it's not my knowledge. I owe it all to the English, uh, the ESL language library. They did a really good job at developing it. Now, Sima says she's learned about Deborah. So, is Deborah a I big planet? What is Deborah? I haven't heard of Deborah. I know a girl named Deborah, <laughs> but I don't know the planet. So, um. Eight, Ida, do they call the planets different names when you learn them? Did you learn Mars and Jupiter? Did you learn those names? But in your language? Yes. Yeah. By my language. Simba Sara says. Um, say Oranus, Zohar, Mary, uh, Bahram, and others, uh, other planets. We can call them in our native language. For example, we can say to uh, in uh, English, in Persian, uh, we can say to Earth, Zamin. Okay. Earth means Zamin. Oh, so it does have a different name. I've also yes, heard it called I Gaia. I've heard Earth called a lot of different names. Do you all have a different name for mm -hmm. Earth? Simba Sarah knows a lot. Mm -hmm. Simba, Sarah, how do you know so much about the universe? She says, um, Deborah is a planet from another solar system. So she knows planets from other solar system. Simba, Sarah, are you an alien from another solar system that came to tell us about it? You know a lot. Uh, well, thank yeah, you, Boo. Yeah. Thank you, Ida. Mm -hmm. Thank you, yeah, Man yeah. and Nico. You guys were reading so good. Thank you for participating today. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, teacher. You guys were you great. Nico, you did you learn anything, Nico? Did it help you? Uh, my English is very low and uh, exposit. Uh, I don't know stand all the paragraph. I don't know stand all the the talk the friends or people I could yes uh, or because the class is very really, very good and yeah. your uh, speech is very clear we try clear yeah cla cla <laughs> thank you nico so, sorry 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 you're doing great and you're your own worst critic you just keep practicing okay and you'll get better every day so is that what teacher sky says everybody practice every day okay can you do that practice every, practice day. every day simba sarah says are we saying it again and again was it universe that you were saying and we missed you oh we're sorry hey, so teacher, thank you to flourish you for coming up today and thank you for the donation flourish i really appreciate that that was so sweet and a thank you to true blue who was here practice and if you're still here thank you practice we appreciate you. And is there anyone else that we want to? Oh, Bayram. Bayram was up. And Bayram's a very good reader. We thank you for your help. Uh, where's the mic? Ali wants to speak. Uh, you have to hop on, Ali. And you have to do it. Thank you for your insight today. So, I guys. Was really, uh, I was studying hard. That's why uh, yeah. sometimes oh, I'm not here because of my exams. You're studying for they exams. Are so, uh, good. They are so difficult. Yeah. But no, for me, all the time I have, 
uh, I'm the best in this exam because yeah. this is my job. <laughs> that's right. And you have to study. So you're a student and mm -hmm. that's what you do. Excellent work. Well, mm -hmm. guys, I won't be here tomorrow. Hello, teacher, course teacher training is tomorrow, right during my live stream. So I won't be here tomorrow, okay. but um, I will keep you posted on my schedule and especially you subscribers. I will do some special things for you guys, especially if the courses get in the way. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Sarah, uh, Simba, Sarah, we love you. She says, you guys have done an amazing job and you really have. This is hard work. You just have to keep practicing. Okay. Don't give up. Yes. All right. I'll see you yes, again. Uh, tomorrow I will bye -bye. Bye -bye. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye bye. Yes. Bye. Teacher Sky, Bye. signing Bye. off. Bye-bye. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Thank you. Thank you, all my Facebook and YouTubers. I'll see you next time. And all of you on